Christy Zarilla here from the LA Times Ministry of Gossip, checking in on this week's celebrity news. Kim Kardashian and Kanye West left Little North at home and whipped round the globe for Paris Fashion Week, avoiding any LAX paparazzi problems, we're looking at you, Kanye, by traveling overseas out of San Francisco instead of LA. It was reportedly tough for Kim to make the trip, as it's the first time she's been taking time away from the baby, who was born in June. But travel they did, and mingle they did, with some of the top names in fashion. After touting the luxe baby gear given to them by various design houses, Kim wrapped up the week by bearing dramatic cleavage in a plunging gown by Givenchy. Kanye, meanwhile, had praise for the French paparazzi for the quiet, respectful way they went about their business snapping pics and shooting video. Back in the States, Kimberly Perry, lead singer of country trio The Band Perry, got engaged. Kimberly said yes to Toronto Blue Jays catcher J.P. Arancibia after he proposed to her in her favorite place in the world, under a large oak tree at her parents' place in Greenville, Tennessee. After she spotted him under the tree, her mom sent her back into the house to put on a special pink dress and an heirloom bracelet from her grandma. Then she was met by J.P. on one knee with a diamond ring in the neighborhood of three carats. Too sweet. After dating about a year and a half, they plan to marry next summer. Meanwhile, in L.A.'s Holmby Hills neighborhood, Family, friends, and co-workers of radio icon Casey Kasem staged a protest outside the house he shares with second wife Jean Kasem. Casey's three children from his first marriage allegedly haven't been allowed to see their 81-year-old dad for about three months. The man who voiced American Top 40 for decades is suffering from advanced Parkinson's disease. We're just quietly saying we want to see my dad, that's it, daughter Carrie Kasem tearfully told an LAPD officer after cops and a helicopter were summoned to disperse the crowd. She said the family had no choice now but to take the matter to the courts. That's it for now. For more celebrity news, check out the blog at latimes.com gossip and follow us on Twitter at LATCelebs. Thanks.